And what is that love? Love is the keeping of the commandments. That's right. So you're made perfect through keeping the keeping the commandments. That's a, a part of this thing. But you have to be strong because the world is going to try to pull you away. That's right. You must be strong and do what you're supposed to do and shed off that weak nature. Right. Get into this thing. Understand. Don't be no uh, 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 keyboard coming warrior. That's not needed in this time. Yeah, the Lord said, the, I'm sorry, brother. The Lord, the Lord said uh, uh, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. That's right. Pray ye the Lord that the Lord send uh, 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 laborers into the, into the harvest, into the vineyard. Because there's a lot of work to be done. You know? That's right. Hey, and we and also, can, we also made perfect through the sacrifice that Yahweh made and his resurrection. Right. So that means that there's an elect man that he, you know, like, look, I got him. We in the clock, we in the line at the club before the foundation of the earth. He's like, I got him. I'm gonna pay for him. I'm gonna pay for him. I'm gonna pay for him. Everybody, you come over here and arrest everybody. Did he didn't pay for them? Right. So you you don't know if you're a part of that number. So essentially, you should be fighting and doing what it would take to be a part of that. Number. And then, that's right. And then your faith is gonna give you the confidence as you work. All right. Your faith is what's gonna make you work with boldness. Yep. You're not gonna work like oh, 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 oh. Right. you're gonna work with confidence. Lord is coming. Oh, I'm trying to get paid. I'm gonna get paid. Right. Right. Smoke. You know, you gonna go. All right. All right. If it, I, I work at a school, so I'm gonna use a college as an example. If dentistry was gonna say, right? So everybody, if you if you go to college, you be a dentist and you make it, you will be saved. Everybody out here would go to college and choose dentistry, but that don't mean you're gonna make it. Well, what we're talking about is if you get that feeling, do you need to put that effort in that? If you don't care, then we're not talking to you. Right. You missed the point, you missed the mark, we don't care. We're speaking to those who want to make it. That's who the message is to. And, and we're talking about these commandments and this law and this book. All the examples that the brothers brought in are within this book. Period, point blank. Start at the top. This is 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Boldness right. in the day of judgment. Right. And we understand that this is the day of judgment. And we're made bold because we're out here in the face of all this evil. We're out here. We don't have no guns or swords on us. We got the spirit of your how about some y'all sound. That's right. This is what we need. We don't need to be uh, throwing stuff at y'all, throwing rock like they throw rocks and eggs from the top. We don't need to do all that. We right. stand firm in your face. Right. In the face of Satan. Right. In the spirit of your how about some y'all That's right. This is Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. If you're strong, you're going to put on, like it goes in to say, you're going to put on all that armor. Now, if you got on all that armor, why you ain't ready to fight? You sitting at the house with all the guns, bulletproof vests, you got a tank out there, but you still scared. That's a damn shame. The Lord provided you with everything you need. Be strong. Right. Go and get it. Right. It's your time. Is it not? You saying you are you, you, you a Hebrew Israelite, you are the elect, so be strong. Because as he is, okay, come. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Verse 18. And it said, as he is, as Yahushua was, so are we. Yahushua went through all these same things that we went through. People attacking him. People not wanting him to preach his ministry. People saying he was lying. It's just, we're going through that same thing. But count that as a beautiful thing. Right. Because we are in line with Yahushua. Right. And the elect are going to be in line with Yahushua. So count it as a beautiful thing. Don't be scared. Be strong. Understand it. Damn, I'm here. I'm in this thing. I'm doing it the right way. I'm fighting. I'm in this thing. Verse 18. Verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out there is fear. No fear in keeping the commandments. Right. If you in this thing, ain't no fear in that. Right. Can't nobody tell me to eat pork. Right. It's that's done. Can't, can't nobody tell me it's okay to sleep with a man's woman. That's out. All of that madness is out. Nobody can tell me nothing like that. That's right. Eating tripe, eating roast pork, eating catfish. I don't care where I go. I'm not eating none of that madness. Because I'm 
trying to be in the spirit of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Sai. I'm not scared of you people. I'm scared of the most high. I mess around and eat some bacon, and the Lord will have me out here uh, 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 a transgender or something like that. Ooh. Hey, that's what I'm scared of. Hey, and, and, and we talk about these animals, but these animals aren't wicked within themselves, man. Okay, they were created for a purpose in the Most High's ecosystem, man, right. through Yahweh Shai. So when you partake in and eat these things, you're also partaking in the destruction of the ecosystem that the Most High set up, man. That's right. Bell, you you're order. rebellious. You out of order. Do as thou wilt. Yeah, because pretty much, this is these are the garbage men right. of the earth. Right. You know, whether they be in the water or in the, in the seas or or on land. So by you eating that, you eating the filth that's 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 uh, uh, coming uh, from off that the they're cleaning up. That's why you get sick because it's unclean. You know. But as the brother said, they, they, it's not, they're not they're not uh, uh, wicked of themselves because the Lord. Them yeah, they may be ugly. You know, that's right. That's right. Hey. A, a good example. What if somebody started eating all the garbage, man? That's cleaning up the streets. The streets would be dirty as hell. <laughs> that's exactly what's going on in the, like the brother said, in the Mosai ecosystem. Y'all are eating. Y'all are finding the garbage, man, and right. eating. Right. Yeah. That's dirt powder, air crazy. The water. You can't go swimming or nothing. I know that. Because people eating, eating the garbage. You know, waste management. Yeah. Waste management. No. And that behavior shows to be antagonistic because everybody's sick. Why do you think everybody's sick, man? These people wake up eating Cheetos, cheese puffs, candy, Skittles, Easter candy when Easter come, Halloween candy when Halloween come. They constantly put this stuff in their body, man. That's right. You can't eat like that, man. Right. Eating all of this madness. You are what you eat, man. That's right. Your yeah, DNA does. forms. Your DNA forms is what you put in your body, man. Yeah. You are what you eat, literally, man. Yeah. So you a big ass shrimp. So you really a big <laughs> shrimp floating around America, man. <laughs> big movie it. about your ass. <laughs> you you and, and and see the reason why this whole earth is out of course and out of order is because the so-called white men have, have given you the uh, authority uh, um, or the mindset that, that the laws, and the commandments of the Bible have been done away with. That's right, right. And then they'll go to scriptures in the New Testament and try to justify that you can eat pork. You know, with the scripture uh, speaking about Cornelius, what, when the Lord said what, that, what the Lord had cleansed that, that called not right. down uncommon or unclean. And they don't understand what that means. You know? In other scriptures, when Yahweh says it's not what goes into a man, but what cometh out of him that defiles, defiles him, they say, "Well, see, that means you can eat, you can eat uh, uh, pork, you can eat this and that and other." But that's that was what the so-called white man pushed out here. Right. You know that's why you know the, this whole society is upside down. You know, and because they're allowing you to do whatever you feel is is uh, is uh, uh, right. That's right. But that, the scriptures say there's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah. Just because you think it's right doesn't make it so. That's where the Lord the Lord set down law, statutes, and commandments to govern you by. So that you can look and see, okay, I, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do that. Why? Because there's there's repercussions behind it. Right. You no, know, there's a penalty for certain things uh, that uh, are breaking the law. And the reason why things are upside down is because the man that's in power right now, he's, he's uh, giving you the, the, the right to do whatever the hell you want to do. And then, and then make it seem like like the Bible is just just another book. Right. And that's why everything's out of course. Because when Israel was keeping these laws, tests, and commandments, everything was running in a proper order. During the time of King Solomon, the 40 years of peace, Israel was in, was in order. You know? Yeah, I'm heard but yeah, right. I'm just I'm trying to ask my apostle said, you want to do what you want to do. A good example of that is you people are still smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Right. Because you like it. It feels good. But the way of smoking cigarette equals death. That's right. There's no other way. That's right. You smoke it, and you continue on in that habit, you're going to die. Yeah. You know, your throat's going to have to get taken out. You're going to be sitting there. Yeah. You're going to be doing commercial. Yeah. You're, you're going to have a half a lung in your body, and you're going to die. And now it's unnecessary trips to the hospital and the funeral. Yeah. 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 Hey, this brother had, had a question. I was looking at the chart on uh, Benjamin, on the uh, West Indies.
which tribe out of the West Indies fall into that? Like, uh, which tribe followed into a West Indies? Oh, Jamaican, 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 Jamaican,
yeah. you know, yeah, they, and had children. Yeah, but then you got you also have like white people down there that call themselves Mexicans. Uh -huh. But they're not Israelites unless the line goes so so back to one of the people on, on the side. A lot of those top uh, top uh, Israelites, uh, Spaniards, Edomites, man. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm saying. Back you know, uh, and and a lot of them are Germans. So there's a lot of Germans that migrated into Mexico, man. Uh, but you still got the indigenous uh, people that are still there. You still got uh, Negroes that were brought there because uh, Mexico wasn't practicing the slave trade. So a lot of Negroes, a lot of us, uh, uh, a lot of the Reubenites fled into Mexico after the uh, Trail of Tears, coming out from Florida, coming out from Georgia on the Trail of Tears. They went down into Texas, and then when Texas was was, was taken over, they fled even farther south down into Central America. Man. So you have Reuben down there, you have Judah down there, and just and, and like we're going into, I have that. What tribe would he be from? I'm from the tribe of Ephraim. Ephraim. So called Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. You know, because you had you had the Arawak and uh, uh, other question is, how did y'all get so light now? Well, when when the Spaniards came to the to on this side of the world, they were raping the women and, and then some of the men were also laying down with the white women. Oh, so the right. babies were coming out lighter. Oh, like uh what's that what's that uh, uh basketball player that real life he kinda had that uh, oh, Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. Oh, okay. Right now Blake Griffin has a son right now. Uh -huh. He had a son by a white woman. Now the son of Blake Griffin looks like a white boy. You know? So if, if you if somebody was to come to him and didn't know that Blake Griffin was his father, what would they say he would classify that as a white man? But it goes that's where it goes by who your father is. So you have to search the line or the lineage of your father to see where it comes from. Okay. So it's all spiritual. Even right? with the, even the most high has passed it down the spirit the of Israel that through that seed. You're, okay. right. You're not gonna have an Edomite. You're not gonna have an Edomite in the spirit of an Israelite, man. Exactly. You, well, I don't care what body you well, put well, him in. Well, even in the scriptures, if you want to go color, Gehazi's seed was marked to have leprosy right. on down to their generation forever. So there's a group of Israelites that are of that seed that, that look like, like so-called white people, yeah. if you want to go into the scriptures. See, it, go, it, go, but it, it goes yeah. back to faith again. Faith. Yeah. faith. Just like, like, you know, like, you know, like people sometimes ask, well, how do you get Judah, so-called Negroes, Zebulon, the so-called Guatemala, and Panama, you know, and, and all the rest of the tribe? You can go on the scriptures and certain characteristics that, that they would be uh, doing in these last days, but at, at the end of the day, it's all by faith. That's what the scriptures say. Uh, um, uh, the things that were written four times were written for. I'm sorry. Uh, um, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind.